Hi, I'm Mark Leghorn. I'm the training director for the Photographer Academy, and I'm used to kind of training photographers at all levels to take that better photograph and run a better biz business. In this short film, though, we're trying to help you, the consumer, that possibly needs some kind of great headshot for photographs and you need to do them yourself, okay? So I've got some kind of real tips for you um, to kind of allow yourself to get some instant great images. The first thing is the uh, selfie. What you want to avoid is that, okay? So you don't want to be actually here. You want either somebody to hold that camera for you or position it in some way that basically it can be taken. So even uh, time lapse, as far as, you know, to take a shot every five seconds, there's free apps that will allow you to do that if you don't have something integral on your, your, like your, your, uh, your smartphone to do that straight away for yourself. Notice though, um, in addition, what I was doing was actually holding it up high. Now, pretty much all you selfie ad addicts know that you want to be shooting from high to you, as it were, uh, just a little bit. What it does, it kind of focuses on the expression and the face more. It basically lifts any kind of three, four chins cut to that camera and you'll know what I'm on about, okay? So cut back to that camera, please, yeah? Um, so what you wanna do is actually have that high um, viewpoint to allow st stretch in the neck, okay? So we cut back to that camera again, and you'll see the difference from a low angle here, if I'm shoot shooting straight ahead, to a basically a high camera angle as well. If you can't get up high, then basically lean onto a surface and then raise the chin just that little bit more, okay? So it's different than obviously being restricted in the height, whatever it be. So as far as the kind of the position is concerned, um, I, would def I would definitely encourage you to get that camera height and do a few shots where you're leaning. And really remember a headshot is above the nipple and cropping above the head. Don't be afraid to uh, shoot in a, a kind of landscape mode if you so need to, then you can basically crop off the sides uh, in whether it's a, an app or whatever you'd use and things really. But uh, again, if it's easier to shoot it in the actual um, horizontal, then do, uh, then do that. The next thing is just don't shoot in any light, okay? Try and actually get near to a window. And basically, if you imagine you're the window the camera is the window here, okay, that all the light would be coming on to me. Whereas really what we want is actually the light coming from a side position. So in other words, if you are the, if the camera is the window here and I'm the, sub the subject, uh, really what I want to do is avoid from just taking photographs where the camera is where the window is and it's shooting towards me here. Why? The background's going to go darker, guaranteed, okay? Uh, the next thing is that basically you're going to be flat lit, and flat lit means fat lit. So it's basically going to increase the actual body size and the face size as well. So what you want to do is try and put the window, okay, at around about a 45 degrees. So if we imagine a clock, yes, and the basically in the middle of the clock, yes, is going to be uh, yourself, yeah? And the 12 o'clock position is basically where the uh, window is. If you basically face towards the 12, um, basically you're gonna be flat lit. What you wanna be able to do is with the window at the 12 o'clock position, is slightly rotate your body and then create a, a gaze to look towards the two o'clock position, or if it's on the other side, the 10 o'clock position, okay? So by doing that, you'll basically put the light from one side flat on to kind of creating some shadow on the side. And inherently that will really, really actually thin your subject out. It'll make you look more three dimensional as well with it. If, if you can as well, uh, we cut to that camera. Um, basically, even though we've got a big white paper backdrop behind me here, this could be a colored wall in your home. Um, what I'd suggest you doing though is if possible, try and uh, kind of shoot against both a light, light wall and a darker wall of some kind. Avoid from doing any weird things with an app, soft focus and all that stuff and retouching. People don't wanna be seeing that at all, not even for the dating apps, yeah? You wanna make sure that you're basically uh, giving a real representation of you. So lighting is key, height is key, your background, you don't want it to be distracting. Things like you've got on here, yeah, I'm a big, a big guy, but dark background, dark clothes, 
clothing, light background, light clothing. So if I was being photographed against a white uh, background wall, I'd try and actually have a white or a light shirt on. And if I'm photographing against a darker background, then I would obviously go for more kind of blacks or darker greys or blues or whatever it would be. So again, try and suit uh, the complementary clothes, uh, the clothing to the background itself and things really. Do not be afraid to just have a coffee shop style of image. So what, what do I mean by that? You've gone into a coffee shop, you're leaning on a shelf next to the, win, uh, the, win, the window, somebody comes through the door and they take your photograph. What it does then, it basically, if you think about what we just did, is we stretch and we elongate the body. We've got light coming in from one side. The gaze is away from the window because we're looking at the person coming through the door. And then if you're pleased to see them, you're going to give a nice expression. If you're not pleased to see them, you're going to basically give them a scowl. Uh, and obviously, uh, I, I don't know many jobs where they actually want to see you as a miserable devil, uh, especially if you're applying for the next Father Christmas job. Uh, you just want to kind of have a happy but grub a grumpy look at the same time. When you're taking the photographs, though, as I was saying to you, probably just get a friend, if possible, to take control of the, ca the camera, try and fix the camera for them, and basically just get them to press the button just a little bit um, and take lots and lots and lots of photographs. When we're in a professional mode, um, we're basically going to charge anything from, you know, £100 hundred dollars up to four five hundred pounds depends on the kind of photography that you want and your branding photography so you know a little bit of your time editing loads of images will at least give you some kind of variety hope you enjoyed this quick film on taking a much better selfie image uh, for your likes of your headshot photography see you on the next film take care